I'm Casey Sterling, on my dad's side, and Mi'kmaq and Acadian on my mom's side, but I grew up in Tsukotin and Shokakmak territories. I am a current master's student at the Center for Indigenous Fisheries in the Institute for the Oceans and Fisheries at UBC. Uh, so in partnership with another master's student at the Center for Indigenous Fisheries, Kate Musset, we are both together working in partnership further with the First Nations Fisheries Legacy Fund, which is a cooperative of six nations here on the Lower Fraser. Mostly the aim was to try to better steward and protect salmon habitat. In Canada, we have many distinct nations, and so everything is context dependent. No one way of working with a nation is going to work with another one. The Canadian government, according to the Constitution, has a duty to consult with Indigenous peoples. That is often brought upon as sort of a, a way to check a box. Not true collaboration where there would be an accountability process to see if suggestions or comments or concerns of Indigenous peoples throughout that consultation process are even taken into account. Often one of the main sticking points between uh, Indigenous nations and the Canadian government when working together are disagreements on end goals. Um, even if end goals are agreed upon, the methods to attain those goals are very rarely agreed upon. To begin working more collaboratively and equitably together, the Canadian government needs to be able to address and to acknowledge the legacy of histories and the present of illegal occupation on Indigenous territories and the bad histories between the Canadian government and Indigenous nations that continue to this day. Something that people can do to try to work more collaboratively with Indigenous nations is to find out what projects are already going on on the territories that you are living on and working on see if the nations are looking for help and work in that way in ways that they ask for rather than in ways that you might think that they need. Be willing to be humble and admit when you make mistakes because we all do make mistakes and it's important to learn together and grow from them rather than to be afraid to make mistakes and not even work in the first place.